kettlebell goblet squat. Okay, holding the kettlebell by its horns, you're gonna tuck your sacrum, keep it tucked, rotate the hips, bring the torso as far forward as you need to keep your back in line, drive the knees wide, sink your hips, keep your head looking up, butt squeezes, stand yourself up, one. Three, four, five. You want your knees and toes to stay in line, so wherever your feet are pointing, your knees will follow. Again, tucking the sacrum, making sure that that lower ab stability um, that you get from tucking the sacrum doesn't go away as soon as you go to rotate the hips and push your hips back. You want all of this spine, hip, pelvis to stay in line as you drop down. One more, a bit larger. 